Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick how-to on how to reinitialize the automatic headlight leveling system on a Lexus. Um, you want to do this after modifying your suspension, specifically lowering the vehicle. A uh, quick overview of what this system does is um, when you lower the vehicle, um, it assumes that the trunk is full of something, essentially, and it, it's assuming that the vehicle is now riding, you know, lower in the rear, uh, so it automatically will adjust the headlights down to stop blinding oncoming traffic. Um, but obviously when you lower the car, the front's lowered as well. Um, so the car is still level. Uh, so this will just basically set the zero point uh, for what the car knows is level. Um, so basically it's assuming the car is lower or in the lower in the rear, but you're saying no, this is a zero point and it will bring those headlights back up to normal. Um, after I did this, I did not have to worry about getting a screwdriver and adjusting the headlights manually. Just let the car do its thing. Okay, so the steps to do this are very simple. Um, let me walk you through them right now, and then I'll go ahead and demonstrate them. Uh, so step one is get a reading of your current fuel level. Uh, that fuel level uh, corresponds to a set number of clicks of the headlight switch. Uh, and then... You basically put the car into initialization mode, click the headlight switch the set number of times based on the fuel level, and then it will simply beep at you and let you know, hey, it, it worked. Um, so let me get more into those details now. Okay, so step one is to get the current fuel level. Uh, so we'll just turn the car on without starting it. So that's kind of a double tap there. And based on the fuel level, um, depending on whatever your car is, mine's full, but it's going to be between E and a quarter tank is two clicks, three clicks, four clicks, five clicks. And then once we have that fuel level, we can move on to the next piece. That is simply turn the light switch all the way off. It's all the way off and then turn off the car. All right, this next part can get a little tricky, so it may take you a few tries to get it. Um, basically, you turn the ignition on, pull back, uh, like you're flashing your high beams, turn this to parking lights three times, and then the cluster should start blinking at you. And then you can go ahead and turn this all the way on and off based on the number of times um, indicated by the fuel level. So let's give this a try. So I have my blinking light. It's letting me know, hey, it's ready to initialize. So now I'm going to do the five clicks. So now this is blinking one, two, three, four, five times, letting me know, hey, it knows I inputted this correctly. Then you just turn the car off. And that should be it.